Okay, welcome back everyone. If you don't know already, my name is Austin, and I've been working on building this little 5 by 8 foot trailer into a micro house. Um, so this will be my fourth and final video of the series. Um, so if you haven't seen the other three videos, I recommend you go over to my channel and check those out first. Um, so for this video, I'll be finishing up the actual build uh, by doing all the little finishing touches, building out the furniture, I'm going to be finishing these window sills and the door, and yeah, it'll be all complete after this video. So the first step I'll be doing is working on the actual window sills and getting the walls totally complete. So here we go. So I got the trim around the windows all complete. Uh, I still have to do another coat of paint, but for the most part it's done and I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely do. Shortly after I finished the windows, um, it got pretty cold and winter really set in here and it started to snow, so I took a pretty long break from working on the trailer, but now that it's warming up, I'm going to start getting back to it. And the next thing I'll do is work on the actual bed frame. Um, as you can see here, I bought a 4 inch memory foam mattress. Um, and if you've seen my van build video, I'm going to be making a similar bed frame that uses the slat system that can pull out to convert it from a couch into a bed. So here we go. I got the bed frame all done. Um, I still need to do a little bit of modifications just to get it fitting in the exact spot that I want it. But now I'm gonna start working on the other side of the trailer here. Um, so I'm gonna be building a little cabinet with some shelves. Um, down here on the bottom left is where I'm gonna have the whole electrical system with the battery um, and the fuse panel and everything there. And then I'll have a shelf with these baskets here and then over on the side is where I'll have my little trash can and then up above it will be the switch panel and then yeah I'll just have some regular shelves up above it so I'm gonna start working on that now. Now the cabinet is complete, uh, I just need to paint over some screws real quick and it'll be totally done. Uh, but now that I have this in, I can start working on wiring up the whole electrical system down there. Um, right now I have my 100 amp hour deep cycle battery in there. Um, 
And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to wire up the switch panel over here. And I was originally planning to use a battery isolator, which would charge the battery while the trailer is being towed. But I've decided instead I'm gonna use uh, solar panels. So I bought two um, 100 watt solar panels that I'll be installing on the roof. And yeah, so here we go. I got the bed completely finished now. As you can see here, um, I added these strips of walnut on the sides of the trailer in here. Those are just to make the bed slide easier. And then I also added a couple handles on the front of the bed so it'll pull out easier. And yeah, now it's completely finished. I also just finished the door. I stained it with a dark walnut colored stain and then covered it in a few coats of uh, polyurethane and added the handle and everything and trimmed out all around the door. So now it is complete. Um, unfortunately, I completely forgot to record any of that, but at least the final product looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. Now all I have left to do is clean it out and put in the rest of the decorations. There you have it. That's the end of this uh, series of videos where I turned that five by eight foot trailer into this little 40 square foot house. Uh, I will be coming out with a more in-depth uh, final tour video soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I also have a little bit of exciting news. Uh, I just bought a small piece of property, so I'm gonna be setting this whole trailer up on that and building a whole outdoor kitchen and outhouse and a whole off-grid little homestead. So if you want to follow along, then stay tuned and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.